A Rootin' Tootin' Cowboy Written by Bonnie Highsmith-Taylor Illustrated by Sarah Palacios Boys and girls, before I start to read this week's book, what I'd like to do is introduce you to our five vocabulary words. This way, while you listen to the story, you could see if you could find them and get a better comprehension of what they mean. So the first word is skill. Can everyone say skill with me? Skill. A skill is something you know how to do well. Skill. Develop. Everyone say develop. When something develops, it grows and changes. Develop. Steep. Everyone say steep. Steep goes from very high to very low quickly. Steep. Rescue. Everyone say rescue. If you rescue someone, you save them from being hurt. Rescue. And our last word is persistent. Everyone say persistent. If someone is persistent, they keep trying and do not give up. So again, repeat after me. Our five words are skill, develop, steep, rescue, persistent. Okay, fantastic. So here we go with a rootin' tootin' cowboy. Uncle Slim was a cowboy. Uncle Shorty and Uncle Tex were cowboys. Little Jim wanted to be a cowboy too. But when he tried to ride a horse, he fell off. Don't worry, said Slim. You'll get better in time. You'll be a rootin' tootin' cowboy someday. When little Jim tried to rope a calf, he ended up roping himself. You'll get the hang of it, said Shorty. Keep trying. You'll be a rootin' tootin' cowboy someday. When Uncle Tex tried to teach him how to play his guitar, little Jim got his fingers stuck between the strings. It takes time, said Tex. You'll learn. You'll be a rootin' tootin' cowboy someday. Everyone knew you had to ride a horse, twirl a rope, and maybe play a guitar a little if you wanted to be a cowboy. But little Jim didn't have any of those skills. As much as his uncle said that they would develop in time, he wasn't sure that he believed them. One night, little Jim lay on his bunk in the bunkhouse listening to all the night sounds. An owl hooting. A cricket chirping. Sorry, I can't make that noise. A coyote howling. Ow! And Slim, Shorty, and Tex snoring. <laughs> then he heard another sound. A calf bawling far, far away. This word here, bawling, it means crying really, really, really loudly. Little Jim got up and opened the bunkhouse door. The moon was full. A million stars were shining. And far, far away, the calf was bawling and bawling. Little Jim went to Slim's bunk. Wake up, Uncle Slim. But Slim just snored louder. He went to Shorty's bunk. Wake up, Uncle Shorty. But Shorty just snored louder. He went to Tex's bunk. Wake up, Uncle Tex. But Tex just snored louder. And the calf bawled louder. Little Jim dressed and put on his boots. He went out to the corral. There was his pony, Rusty. Little Jim had never saddled Rusty by himself, but he had helped. Little Jim whistled for Rusty. 
The louder the calf bawled, the harder little Jim worked saddling his pony. At last he climbed into the saddle and he rode off towards the bowling, the bawling calf. Oh, please don't fall off, he whispered to himself as Rusty went faster and faster. Little Jim slid to the left. He slid to the right, but he stayed in the saddle. When he came to the river, he saw the calf. It was on a steep bank. If she moved even a little, she would fall into the water. Little Jim began to twirl his rope around and around. The rope wobbled to the left. It wobbled to the right, but it kept on twirling. At last, it landed right around the calf's neck. Very slowly, he pulled the calf up the bank. When little Jim got back to the ranch with the calf, Slim, Shorty, and Tex woke up. When they heard what little Jim had done all by himself, they whooped and hollered and tossed him in the air. You saddled your horse all by yourself, said Uncle Slim. I had to, said little Jim. You stayed on your horse and you didn't fall off, said Uncle Shorty. I had to, said little Jim. You lassoed the calf and pulled it up the bank and you saved it, said Uncle Tex. I had to, said little Jim. The next night, as they all sat around the campfire, Tex handed little Jim his guitar. Give us a tune, cowboy, he said. Little Jim took the guitar. He began to strum very slowly, then a little faster and faster. His fingers didn't get stuck once. He played the tune all the way through. Slim, Shorty, and Tex cheered and slapped him on the back. Little Jim grinned. He could ride a horse, twirl a rope, and play guitar. At last, he was a rootin' tootin' cowboy.